We're gonna talk about a little bit of comic news because what? something happened. The wedding, the Batman wedding between Catwoman and Batman. So the reason this is in news is because uh, the Sunday before this comic came out, the New York Times did what like, it was written in the style of like an op-ed kind of a thing of like, oh, what happened to the, which also confuses me because the, you get, it, you, makes you, me, it makes me question the world because it's written as if it's in the world and they kind of like float between like uh, Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne are supposed to get married and then Batman and Catwoman. And it also makes me wonder who in the world of the comics knows because like Joker knows that mm-hmm. Batman and Catwoman are getting married. Yeah. Does that mean he knows who they are? I don't know. Let's see. The point of the story is. <laughs> got a little head. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm the sorry. Point, the point of the story is that uh, the New York Times. Yes. Spoiled. The, the 50th issue of Batman, which was being yes. like Tom King, the writer, was showing up on talk shows and it was like yeah, a Yeah, they were promoting it push. hard. And it was kind of crazy that DC, who gave like all the info to New York Times, allowed this to happen a lot. This actually happens a lot in comics and yeah. we were talking, we were kind of hinting to this earlier. But we wanted to talk about why this kind of thing happens because it... It is frustrating if you were like, I genuinely do want to be surprised when I go and read this comic. Yeah. And if I just happen to turn on Twitter, there's going to be spoilers, spoilers for this. And it's interesting. Um, so um, we're we're going to be discussing the comic. The comic is out at this point now. We're not. It's You can read it. It's out. Uh, it's been it's, spoiled. It's been spoiled anyway. So we're also going to discuss the spoilers under the, assumption, uh, under the assumption that you should read. In fact, wait, hold on. Let's check our little comic rack of... Wow. Oh, hey. wow. There it is. Wow. Teen Titans go to the movies. Wow. Wow. Well, no, okay. So, boom. Here is uh, Batman uh, issue 50. Mm-hmm. Um, Sam, did you did you read it? Yes, I read the yeah. whole, whole thing. It's a beautiful comic. Very thick. Yeah, <laughs> Very thick. Uh, uh, it's, a be- it's a beautiful story, and it's a bummer that it was spoiled that they... Do not get together, yeah. which is not surprising because that happens so frequently. Well, I think the one of the DC reps went online and they were they gave some answers and it was basically like, "Hey, this is what we do. This is how we promote comics. This is whatever." And I guess people were were angry tweeting them like or they were angry tweeting Tom King, which by the way, don't ever angry tweet the creator for a publicity decision. Like it's not no. his call. Like why are you angry? Because they were saying like, "Hey, people have canceled their orders. You owe me money." <laughs> like that's not the creator's. Problem. Anyway, uh, no, you should bring that up. That's a good point because all, it doesn't have he doesn't have control, control in over. In fact, he was the, one of the most important characters and popular characters in fiction. He, so, he has very little control over. They, what they were happens. talking about how this is what they do, and we've seen that. Like I, my the uh, example that I I thought of is when uh, at the end of the original Civil War comic series, uh, Cap twenty five was Captain America twenty five was coming out, and that was the issue he was going to die. But nobody knew about that until they did a publicity thing the Monday before, like, "Hey, Cap's going to die in this Gets issue." His head blown off, yeah, like a damn so, pumpkin exploding. So um, the issue here, though, is this has been promoted for months as the wedding issue. Batman's getting married. Batman's getting married. So it's, it, it'd be like if you know, the big publicity push DC did like Superman's going to die. Death of Superman issue. I think it was 75 or whatever. De- Death of Superman. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And then that Monday they're like, never mind. He beats Doomsday. Everything's great. He defeats evil once again. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, that's just the status quo. That's not a twist. Yeah. So you're just spoiling me that the whole thing you've been promoting is basically not happening. But I, which you're not wrong. So it's a weird, it's a weird publicity d- decision. It doesn't line up, even though there's like, well, this is kind of how we do things. The, the twist doesn't line up with how you normally promote this stuff you're right and you're wrong in the sense that there's plenty there's plenty of times we see a commercial for uh and this is doesn't make it right it just happens where we see a commercial for uh like a tv show episode of like a reality show and it basically shows you all the highlights but you're still gonna you're gonna see basically the outcome but you still want to go watch it because you want to see how you get there and i will say reading this is worth the wait for it i think it's still a very good story and it's very sweet it's uh, I will tell you that it's from two different points of view. So can you guess? Batman, Catwoman. Yeah. And it's them writing letters to each other, and it's about what they mean to each other, and it's very sweet, and, and what the future for both of them holds. And also, this leads over to a Catwoman new series, Catwoman yes. number one by Joel Jones. Yeah, and it looks incredibly beautiful. talented. Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
I don't is, agree with, with the decision of spoiling things like that, but I understand from a business standpoint. Uh, and Tom King even tweeted out, he's like, uh, there's some good things today that made me happy, and there's some bad things today that made me very upset. But overall, I hope you enjoy the comic. And it was just so sad. He's yeah. also said that this is supposed to be a 100-issue story. Yeah, only detailing, halfway. Detailing their relationship. I will say, it's Tom King's a tremendous writer. Uh, there's so many incredibly talented artists coming on here celebrating the Batman and Catwoman relationship. I, I will also say that this is probably not a good jumping on point uh, for people that have not been reading this run. Mm -hmm. Like it's very much uh, a lot of what happens here is reliant on your understanding of Tom King's run so far. It does look like a it does feel like a button to the end of a story and yeah. now moving on to the next. But it's still continuing some of the stuff that comes from this. So, so it's if like you, if you just tuned in for the se season finale of a show. But then a spinoff started right after. Yeah. So it's like you could get the info you wanted and then move on. You could do that. Yeah. Wouldn't recommend it, but you could. But what do we think about strengths? weaknesses and where they could go from here because we did talk about there is a future for this there's 50 more issues at the very least yeah. with tom king and boy howdy that's a lot that's that a, a lot that's, that's more a big than commitment. you can handle that's yeah. a lot so um again spoilers uh, if you haven't picked it up um and i mean if you're reading tom king's run and you're a batman fan you've probably been you probably did pick it up. If you like Batman, you're going to like Batman and go read Batman. Yeah, right. if you want to read this, go pick up the trade, other Tom King's other trades. They're well worth the read. He's a very talented writer. Um, Here's some examples. For me, strengths, the art. Boom. These are two different artists immediately. And you're going to get, and these are very specific. Like here, you get Tony S. Daniel, and they actually even credit all the artists at the bottom of the page. You can see they're there. Yeah. Uh, and I think we have, there it is. Uh, I, the, the main art is done by Michael Jannon. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, we have a. I think we have a major splash page from it. This is uh, from. Look at that. Yeah. Again, this comic is kind of celebrating Batman and Catwoman uh, being together. And so, what did you? What did, overall? What did you? What did you think of the? It was beautiful. Oh. It's a beautiful story about both of their characters that really dives into what they mean to each other. There is an annual from like earlier this year that Lee Weeks at all the art for and Very it's talented. absolutely beautiful and it's so cool to see how they first met and this is kind of like a button to not end that but kind of put a pause on it and then if they're going to revisit this in a way where I think they are going to get together by the end yeah. of the 100 issues it, I think you know the one thing they could do is is and I think might be really interesting is if it's they don't get married but they are in a committed relationship together living together kind of a thing like it's you know what I mean it's not they're not technically formalizing it mm. but they're together I wouldn't mind if they got together yeah. though because it's been forever like it's okay if you can make a change like that. And since Batman's already running around with a kid, mm -hmm. it's not going to... I think a lot of the concerns of characters getting married is that it ages them up somehow. There's a big concern. That's the whole reason we got Spider-Man Brand New Day and all that jazz. Yeah. Uh, but, like, one, Batman's different. Mm. DC, DC heroes are tend to be a little bit more adult, like, grown, living grown-up lives than a lot of the Marvel heroes. Yeah. Uh, and, again, Batman, Damien's running around. So he's already he's got a, he's got a 10-year-old kid. Like, he's already kind of... A grown up. What did you think about the 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 main thrust of the issue ends with uh, both Catwoman and Batman leaping off the night? Yeah, but mainly it's that she chose to leave him, yes. and that's tough because they because both she wrote, wants him to be Batman and he can't be happy and be Batman. Yeah, Batman. which is dumb. Yeah. But a good another strength of this is that you get to see who he picks for his best man. It's Alfred because yeah. Alfred's. It's one like, of the most important people in, uh, let, let's be real, every Batman movie, regardless if you didn't like Batman v Superman or if you didn't like Justice League, Alfred, as soon as he shows up, you're like, I really like Alfred. Like yeah. Michael Caine's, Jeremy Irons. Oh, who was the original Pennyworth? Pen, Alfred Pennyworth. Yep. In, in, wow. in the, the Batman movies, I don't remember the actor's name, but I don't know who you're talking about. Well, the old guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. right. So, uh, it's fine. It's like if you picked your dad as your best man. It's, it's if you're not social, like Batman's kind of not social. It's, friends. Yeah. No, it's just sweet because I he does when he have said friends. I like when he was going to do Superman as his best man because well, you know, there's yeah. a nerd over here. Uh, no, I enjoyed it because and and for for the most part, it, you could kind of get a hint that it wasn't going to work out as the issue was going on. But um, from here, yeah. it, I think he did a really good job dealing with trauma of. Gotham Girl, like Tom King writing that trauma and also yeah. being part of the CIA, I feel like he's able to pull from that. He loves making his characters go through yes. the like the, through the trenches. He does. So I am interested to see where he goes from here because I don't think it's going to take him into a dark place where he's violent. I think it's going to take it to a dark place where he's secludes himself. Mm -hmm. But in a way that's different than, because Batman does that. All Literally, that's all he does. All but I think that Tom King has a way of kind of dealing with the character in a way that's different from other 
other iterations of Batman. Did, and I think that's what's going to be really interesting. Did you feel like this was kind of like a cop out or that you were kind of like you were set up for something? You were kind of like betrayed in the story of like, hey, oh, you, told me, you told me this was happening. There were four tie ins where it was picking the best man. And then all that was you just throw that away because not even one of those characters showed up here. Interesting. It was a big waste of time. Yeah. And there was like like four arcs leading up to this, like about like them deciding, are they going to say yes or no? Or do you really want to be with me? Or is like, this is them fighting Poison Ivy. This is, this is, this is, it's all over the place. And then they threw it away. But that does, I don't think, Tom King's a very good writer. Yeah. And I don't think he's just throwing something away. I think there's something more to this and I'm excited to see what he does. As a weakness though, it it feels slapdash. I feel like they just kind of, because the point of it is that the wedding starts out of nowhere. It's yeah. just like one day they're like, oh, let's just do it. And I hate that because you've been talking about it for like 30 issues at the very least. Yeah. And I get that they're impor- impulsive people also kind of crazy because of what they do. What are you talking about? What? When? Uh, <laughs> but it, it's just kind of disappointing that they, that we should have made it extra sad is what I'm saying. I want all of his <laughs> friends there and they have to watch Batman be sad as Catwoman's there. Well, maybe there. that's what they're setting up for is the 100th issue is the real, although I, I think you're going to get such a big backlash if you're like, no, this is the real wedding mm-hmm. with everybody showing up. I don't think fans are going to be around for that. So you're going to have to think of something a little bit different. I don't think Batman's going to lose a lot of readers. I think wait, they're going to... Wait, I, uh, maybe? Yeah, I, <laughs> no, I think, they're, I think he's going to be fine. Um, and it's going to go, this is going to be two years and this is going to be done. That's crazy yeah. that it's going to be up to issue 102 years. Yeah, good uh, for them for having, the, it's a rotating art team, but all the art, art, I think they're trying to do that more with Superman now, where it's like the, the all the whole rotating team is so talented mm-hmm. that it's fine. So there is a big twist. There is a twist that was not spoiled in the, the article, the news article. Um, it ends with Holly Robinson, who's going to be um, Catwoman's maid of honor. She is in Arkham Asylum. She goes back, and she is confronted by uh, a team of villains that has plagued Batman since the beginning of uh, Tom King's run. This, these, these are this is a collection of villains that have factored in heavily into Tom King's run, and I don't know what this means. I think this is more symbolic uh, than anything, but it also is really confusing because it. Joker's dead. Joker's supposed to be dead. Why is Thomas Wayne's Flashpoint Batman there? Why is he there? Uh, why Go- Gotham Girl? She's usually she's a good person right yeah. now. She's getting she's getting help yeah. for trauma. Also, the skull like throne thing was from another island that's now here. So it was somewhere Skeets else. Skeets is there on the ground, uh, even though I think he was destroyed in the in the Booster Gold arc. Uh, they rebuilt him. That's okay, how they gotcha, that's gotcha, how they gotcha. put, got back. But you're, I didn't even see him there. Yeah. So like, it's more of a nod to the first fifty issues, and this is us moving forward from here and dealing with new characters. Are you excited to see where this goes next? I will read a few issues, and we'll see okay. where it goes. I Tom King's a good writer. I'm going to finish Mister Miracle, and I'm going to read his cri- uh, Heroes in Crisis story. I'm very looks, excited for the Heroes in Crisis. Right, story. it looks it's, really good. It's a really cool, interesting idea. If you want to read a story about your heroes actually going through PTSD, yeah, this is a ball of fun. Uh, you can go ahead and pre. Order now, but any yeah. final thoughts? No, I, I again, I think if you've been reading run, you'll read it. Uh, if you want a, a, a good celebration of Catman, Catwoman and Batman's relationship, this is it. If you want beautiful art, this is it. A good coffee uh, table, but book. but I, I, I am I, I'm kind of I'm disappointed with the way this issue was marketed. Mm. That's fair. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as we did. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe. And also, make sure you go check out twitch.tv slash playnoggin. And you're going to say to yourself, oh, why? Well, we partnered up with the good boys and girls over at there because we're going to make a new show. Yep, it's going to be live Thursday starting in July. The 26th at 4 p.m. PST. Make sure you subscribe or follow them over there for more info. Also, check out our Patreon.com slash Only Stupid Answers. It's going to be on this set. It's going to be with our pals, our friends. Yep. That and you know and love. Maybe some new friends. It's going to be a blast. We talk about news, uh, lifestyle stuff like reviews, and even gaming. It's going to be so much fun. You're not going to want to miss out. But you can get more info at OnlyStupidAnswers.com. Where you can also find our uh, podcast episodes. Uh, we're going to do a spoiler, spoiler-filled spoiler Ant-Man dive-in next week. So be sure to tune in for that. You can also find out more information about our Patreon. And please also take a second and go to Chaos Theory Comic. Dot com. Please and thanks. That's where you can pick up the comic I wrote with a team of amazing artists. It's got zombies. It's got dinosaurs. It's got everything you could possibly want in a comic ever. It is unlike anything you'll pick up at the comic shop. And you can only get it at Indiegogo by going to chaostheorycomic.com. You can also get a Christmas card by Sam and myself if you so want. Please and thank you. Also, there's a stretch goal that will make me write a comic. And I really hope we can get there. Thank you. Please and thank you, Sam. So that's Sam Basher. I'm DJ Wooldridge. Get excited. 
for July 26th. 6th. There you go. Also, like, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Uh, nice things only. Thanks so much. Love you. Bye. Bye. I'm going to throw away all these comics and just put Chaos Theory in there. I want to throw them. I want to throw them in the trash. I want to make sure it's uh, make a point of throwing them in the trash. Yes. We we better. You better yet. We should give them to Mike for his rad ad segment. Oh, it hurts so much. There's some books in there that I really like.